your boy Lo. Just coming back at y'all again, man. On some, on some real, real completed, full circle vibes today. Today's been a monumental and a very pivotal time in my life. Um, the reason why I call my production brand completed full circle is because in life things happen to come in cycles and circles and periodical times um, for me it's usually three to four years yesterday the 22nd will be or is the uh, anniversary of when I actually went to jail and then later got shipped to prison December 22nd, 2018 was a day that changed my life forever. A very reckless time in my life where I literally got took out, sat down, and got woke up. It was much needed. Many, many years of... I don't know, I guess you could say... Uh, denial. Running from my calling. Running away from responsibilities. Running away from myself. I'd just like to say ever since then I've redirected my life and uh, I still have struggles I've really been struggling about living in the present and not worrying about the future not worrying about what I cannot control but I've been having uh some major anxieties about what the future may hold. And the thing is, is we are the only ones that can write our own futures. If I could just quit worrying about what the future will bring and live for today and take it one step at a time then I know I'll be alright but that's the thing with anxiety and learning how to live with it is calming yourself down taking breaths and assuring yourself that things are going to be okay we cannot control the future from the present we can only live in the present to control our future so if I've got any advice to any of y'all struggling with mental health anxiety, depression I would just like to say live your life in the present and worry about the future tomorrow I love y'all thank y'all thank you guys for being here whether you support my podcast or not I appreciate the ones that do. This has literally been a 
type of therapy that has really helped me really reflect on my life and be transparent to the world because keeping all this bottled up and suppressed inside is toxic for anyone and I've been learning to get it off my chest tonight me and Demo had a very long talk a heart to heart if you will about our futures and life in general um, and we made a lot of a lot of headway at least I did and a lot of things were completed full circle and that's what I love about life we were sitting there and it we just pulled into his driveway and it was like 520 and without even thinking me and him were both like oh man it's six o'clock and Demo said whoa I was like what dude he said man I'm so glad I'm not the only one that does that and I said what he said man I just realized that I'm always rushing time away So we literally stopped what we were doing, and we literally sat there until 6, 6.30, literally talking about how you can't rush your time away. You have to stop and live in that moment. In that 40 minutes to an hour and a half, I made more headway and more connections in my mind than I have since I've been home, since April 15th, 2020. And I'd just like to thank Dustin for being a lifelong childhood friend. I'd like to thank him for really being there. And like you said, Brody, the chapter is coming to an end. And a new chapter is only beginning. Remember, stay wavy, ladies. Thank you.